What's going on guys, Sheena from Rock Pilots on. I hope you all had a very nice Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. In this tutorial, we're going to be making this insane growl, and this is what it sounds like. So really just a heavy, meaty, death kind of growl. It just kind of sounds really heavy. Um, so if you guys like that sound, make sure you guys do me a favor by clicking that like button. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button as well, because we have tutorials coming out almost every other day just about every other day uh, not quite but you know we're getting there but anyways guys uh, this week only is the only time that you're going to be able to get everything on our site for $60 off um, and three bonus packs included so basically you are getting three packs along with everything on our site all together for $60 off um, that's going to end this Friday I believe so make sure you guys get on that pretty quick uh, also 60 day money back refund because I don't want your money if you don't love the product That's how confident I am that you guys are going to absolutely love this or everything that we have because that's what it is <laughs> So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into today's video This sound is actually one of the easiest bases that we are going to be making overall on this channel um, I actually have a really interesting technique that I want to show you guys and I'm really really excited to show you so let's go ahead and dive right into this so oscillator A we are going to select spectral and we're going to go to gremlin now if we just cycle through gremlin as you can hear it's a very vocal and um, yeah it does sound like someone pre-recorded a voice in this waveform um, so that's actually perfect because that's going to be the basis for our very meaty talking sound. And really what we're going to be doing in the sound is actually adjusting the form of the bass a little bit um, and not quite pitching it down, uh, the sound itself, but we're actually adjusting the form to sound a lot lower. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to find a nice spot to modulate the wave tail position. I kind of like this movement that we have going on here, so I'm going to move it to about halfway here. Okay, now that's sounding, uh, that's sounding pretty good. Um, I'll put it on trigger as well, so we can do whatever we really want here. Uh, what I actually did in the original LFO shape is I made a little something like this. <laughs> Turn it down a bit. Okay, okay. Now we can move into the next part. Turn it to one half, actually. Okay, so now we're going to be running frequency modulation off oscillator B. Um, now this part is really subjective and depends where you put on the FM amount. So we're going to be finding that sweet spot in the FM that's really going to give us a nice sound here. Um, and one interesting uh, property of using the, running the FM from such a an interesting uh, waveform like Gremlin that actually has a lot of information. As you can see, it's not a simple waveform. It's very complex. There's a lot of movement movement in it, unlike a basic shape like this saw waveform at um, one half phase. Let me just go to a, we'll go to basic shapes and we'll select a basic saw. So as you can see guys, very simple shape here and then very complex. So right away, I turn on the FM from B, and if I drop this level all the way down, you can hear how much that dramatically changes the sound. So once again, as we're intercepting, intercepting more and more frequencies from oscillator B, we are just kind of changing the overall form and the pitch. Uh, not necessarily the pitch, but it we're being perceived as it sounds like the pitch, but it's really just a formant of uh, the vowel movement of oscillator A's waveform. So really cool here. Um, we can leave this wherever we want. As I previously said, it's very subjective. I'll leave it about 55%. I kind of like the sound that's giving off there. Um, next, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go to our low pass filter and we'll go to low 24. Um, so yeah, we'll turn the cutoff all the way up here and we're just going to blast the drive. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird. It's kind of uh, out of the ordinary thing that I'm doing here, but whoa, it's also, it's really just kind of boosting the higher end and it's leaving out just a little bit in the, uh, or it's boosting the low end, my bad. It's leaving out just a little bit in the high end. Um, it's just something preference, preference. What the heck? I just sounded very, 
I can't speak. I can't speak, guys. It's official. Um, no, but um, when we turn on the multiband compressor with this, it really does kind of make a big difference. Um, I just, it's a cool little trick here. Sometimes I do with this, my, with, oh my gosh, I literally cannot speak. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. I'm kidding, guys. Uh, yeah, sometimes when I have an open filter in my growls, I'll do a little something like this, and then the multiband compressor will kind of squash that down a little bit, but it'll also reserve that um, that boosted lower end here. So anyways, oops, I'm just going to turn on the multiband, and we're going to boost this gain. So now the sound is really coming together. What it needs is a lot more space and volume. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to go into our hyper. We're actually gonna blast this bad boy very hot. And uh, yeah, that's really it for the hyper. Now we can do the dimension. You guys already know the deal, the protocol. If you watch my tutorials, we always do a very low size, very high mix. That actually sounds kind of crappy. It's all up to you guys. What you guys want to do with the sound? I kind of like this way it sounds because it sounded like it's flushing down a toilet like this. But um, that's just all personal preference. If you guys like that sound and this tutorial, make sure you guys do me a favor by clicking that like button and clicking that subscribe button as well, guys. Well, we already know what's happening right now. We're closing this tutorial. I'm Shane Gregoire from Rocket Powered Sound, and I will catch you guys. Wait, hold on a sec. I just have to remind you guys about this insane thing that we're going on for just this week, just in case you forgot. I know I just interrupted my closing part, but stick around, stick around. Do not click off the video. Um, once again, guys, you guys get like 375 presets and then 300 something, 350 wavetables, uh, then three bonus packs on top of that. And then $60 off on top of that. Uh, talk about value. That's literally insane. Uh, I actually can't believe I'm doing that. But I just want you guys to have a very, very happy Valentine's Day week. Okay, so that should close it off. I'm Shane Gregoire from Rocket Powered Sound. And I will catch you guys in the next video.